Hi there, I'm Black Right Broadcasting of the UK. Welcome to my channel and I know I'm going to get cussed big time for this video, but I had to show it. And you know me, I have to give my opinion on it. But basically, it's in a market in Jamaica and this is um, these guys' reaction to the lockdown. People still have them thing because people have to do them thing. It's all up money. Keep them distant. But we have poor people can't do it. We have to mix and mingle in the crowd and look our own. We rich? Absolutely not. Who rich? Keep them distant around. Look at the crowd. Ask where they come from. I'll be a ghetto people there. If you want to ask everybody where they come from, I'll be in the ghetto. We have to do that because we have to look our own. Distant? You have to keep your distant now. Another vendor totally disregarded the idea. No, no, we can't answer questions and we'll answer. Are you staying far from each other? When they are staying far from each other, other far. Then that's still not said. That's still not said still. I mean, I mean. Oh, I mean, oh yeah. Who? Somebody. If you can get it from somebody, I saw it go same way. See him here. You might get something wrong. Don't be not dead and done. Don't be not come from far and say stay along. So... To be honest, to, for them, it's logical. It's logical, and it's logical for a lot of people. But until they get moved on, they are going to try and make a living. As far as they're concerned, this is how, do the, how does a government expect them to live if they cannot work? So they're going on with their business same way. Social distancing? Guys saying, what am I social distancing for? How can I do business if I'm social distancing? So the guy said to him, well, you're going to die because the coronavirus is going to spread. And he said, we don't come to this earth to stay long. So the thing is, is that for some people, this is the, um, this is the mindset. And in certain ways, it makes sense they are able to run their things because they are doing their own thing. They have their little market, whatever they're selling, they're selling. And they, that is, they, you have to call them um, self-employed then. That's what you have to call them. They're self-employed. So as far as they're concerned, that is their income. There is no way they can isolate, quarantine and not have an income because as far as they're concerned, they have to provide and pay their way and as far as they're also concerned that if they don't do what they're doing if they don't continue what they're doing what is life worth anyway that's basically what they're saying we might as well dead anyway we're going to die anyway so whichever way we die what difference does it make you know it's it, it's 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 interesting how how the different ways people react. Some people, they follow like sheep and follow the rules and, you know, sit down and let um, everything take them over. And some people, like those guys in there, say, we have got to live, we have got to eat, we have got to do something. So therefore, until, you know, until you until we can find another way to make money to feed our family and pay our bills this is what we have to do for them that is logical it's ironic because in the uk you'll get people crying and bawling and saying they can't do this and they can't do that and how are they going to do this and how are they going to do that because they feel trapped they've become dependent on a system and as much as people talk about Jamaicans, they are entrepreneurs. People might call them hustlers, but they're not. They're entrepreneurs. They know how to hustle. They know how to make money, whichever way it is. And if the government is now going to say, we're going to take the food out of your mouth because you can't work and you have to stay in, there's going to be a ruckus, I am sure. Anyway, this isn't long. I just wanted to share it with you. I thought it was 
interesting and amusing the way that they are so fearless. And so I just had to share it with you. All right, then. Bye-bye.